After this product launch is done, after we complete this big project, after we get this big client account, then things will get easier. After the season is over, after the holidays, after the wedding, the funeral, the bar mitzvah, or birthday party, then things will get easier. After we hit the goal, after we get seven figures in our bank, after we move into that new neighborhood, then things will get easier. After the finals are done, after graduation, after you get the job, then things will get easier. After the kids are out of the house, after we retire, after our parents are in a home, then things will get easier. Here's the big tip. Things will never get easier. So what do you do about this? I'm going to bring in Kara Lawson to tell you. Head coach of Duke University's women's basketball team, WNBA champion, and two times Olympic gold medalist, both as a player and a coach. Let's listen. It will never get easier. What happens is you handle hard better. That's what happens. Most people think that it, it's going to get easier. Life is going to get easier. Basketball is going to get easier. School's going to get easier. It never gets easier. What happens is you become someone that handles hard stuff better. So that's a mental shift that has to occur in each of your brains. It has to. Because if you go around waiting for stuff to get easier in life, it's never going to happen. And then what happens? Oh, it's so hard. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, this, I don't know, when, it, when is it going to be easy for me? Oh, it's easy for other people. It's not. It's hard. And the second we see you handling stuff, handling hard better, what are we going to do? We're going to make it harder. We're going to make it harder. Because we're preparing for you for when you leave here. Not just basketball and life. And if you think life, when you leave college, is going to be all of a sudden get easy because you graduated and you got a new degree, it's not going to get easier. It's going to get harder. So make yourself a person that handles hard well. Not someone that's waiting for the easy. Because if you have a meaningful pursuit in life, it will never be easy. If you're trying to win a championship, if you're trying to have a family, ask your parents. Do you think it was ever easy for them to raise kids? Karen, is it easy? It's not. Any meaningful pursuit in life, if you want to be successful at it, it goes, it goes to the people that handle hard well. Those are the people that get the stuff they want. People that wait around for easy, you probably see them at the bus stop. They're waiting for easy, the easy bus to come around. The easy bus never comes around. You've got to handle hard. Okay, so don't get discouraged through this time. If it's hard, don't get discouraged. It's supposed to be. And don't wait for it to be easy. Oh, I just got to get through the summer. And then it'll all of a sudden get easy in the fall. No, it won't. It won't. It won't get easy in the fall. So make yourself someone that handles hard well. And then whatever comes at you, you're going to be great. You're going to be great, okay? Excellent, right? Don't waste any time in life waiting for things to get easier. It will never get easier. Instead, do as Jim Rohn put it. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. And go out about the business of becoming better. Let me give you three tips to help you handle hard better. You ready? Here goes. Number one, win what's next. I remember a reporter asking Bill Belichick about his career goals after winning five Super Bowls. He said simply, I'd like to go out and have a good practice today. In hard or easy times, but especially in hard times, just win what's next. Win the next drill, not the season. Win the next task, not the project. Win the next conversation, not the day. Remember that when things get hard, when you get lost, disillusioned, anxious, just focus on winning what's next. Number two, entrench support. Without positive support, hard becomes harder, but it's up to you to ally yourself. A, positive input. Never miss here on Darren Daily. Start your day focused on what's positive and possible. Make it a routine, first thing in the AM. Same time, in the same place. Watch while you drink your coffee, tea, or smoothie. B, positive associations. Engage with other positive-minded achievers. That's what the Hardy Club is for. And then C, find a success buddy, a partner that you can be accountable to. As U.S. Navy Admiral William uh, McCraven, McCraven said during his famed University of Texas commencement address, he said, quote, if you want to change the world, find someone to help you paddle. And then number three, 
embrace failure. Failure is not your foe, it's your friend. The pathway to success is walking on the stepping stones of failure. You don't go through failure, you grow through failure. Failure doesn't defeat you or define you, it enlightens you. Failure is simply feedback, vital information for iterating and improving. It is why hard times, adversity, become your advantage. The journey through adversity builds muscles and develops awareness, those that others won't have, that will allow you to achieve weightier goals that others don't have the strength to achieve. So take out your Darren Daily Journal and tell us, which tip do you need to reinforce to handle hard better? Either one, winning what's next, or two, entrenching your support, or number three, embracing failure. Share that with us in the comments below. Hey, Darren Daily friends, just a quick heads up. Starting tomorrow, I have a great three-part series for you called Winning the Game of Life. I'm gonna share some of the best tips that I've gotten from some of the best coaches I've had during my lifetime. You'll hear how to create a winning strategy to the game of building a business, an organization, and a career, as well as improving your game in your marriage, parenting, and in your health. So what do winners do? Well, they meet right here every morning to pursue better every day. I will see you back here bright and early tomorrow morning.